Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a treat for you. We are going to unbox the RevoPoint Morocco 3D handheld scanner. Stick around and let's check it out. All right, let's crack into this thing. So there will be a review uh, coming shortly, but uh, first I gotta get familiar with what we have here. So we got a little zipper pull here. Turn this so you can see what we've got going on. And we've got a nice little slide out of that box. And then we have another box in here, which is probably accessories. This is a unit that I purchased myself. So here we have the box. And inside this white box, what we've got here. Now this is, uh, time of this recording, it is end of May 2024. So this is post um, Kickstarter. I think this kick, the Kickstarter was back in November, somewhere time frame. So we have a nice little bag here uh, to put the scanner in, which is gonna be handy. It's got magnetic clasps there and let's see it feels like there's some stuff in here so let's take a look all right so in the bag itself we have a turntable um, dc 5 volt so it's got a that's cool usb c it's always nice to see that we have a usb c to hdmi adapter so that'll allow you to put your what you're scanning out onto a television here we have a USB-C power plug that will uh, probably be for powering the scanner. We have a hand strap here to put on the scanner, a cleaning cloth, and then we have the uh, small tripod. It's a little ball, ball tripod, so you've got all your adjustments, including uh, vertical there. So not too bad, nothing, nothing overly fancy or complicated there. So those are the beginning of our accessories. So this is really cool. I'm glad to see that. I think that'll come in handy, especially if you're doing something that you want somebody to be able to uh, share in the experience uh, with. So go ahead and pop that back down in there. And then over on this side, um, on top we have some uh, scan pads. So this says the Inspire Calibration Board Morocco Near More Near Mode. So this is if you're working in Near Mode, that is the calibration board for you. There, we have a warranty card. Um, we have a Quick Start Guide, and then here we have markers. So a bunch of uh, small markers, and then they. Uh, it says magic mat. So this is kind of the far mode scan. So you've got some bigger uh, scan points on there and a much larger mat. I have a marker topper in here. So I imagine you could put that on the uh, turntable. Uh, it says used in marker mode to assist scanning featureless objects placed on the turntable or tabletop. And then I also have a magic mat, 40 centimeter by 40 centimeter, designed for Morocco to scan featureless objects in near mode using marker tracking. So plenty of stuff there. Then, ooh, that is heavy. We have a 65 watt USB-C uh, brick. So that's super cool to see that. We have a USB-C cable. Um, 1.8 meters, Type-C to Type-C, designed to charge and transfer the Morocco's data. Uh, this is my first Revo Point scanner, but uh, for those of you that uh, have, have other versions, they typically include this little bust head so that you can uh, practice scanning. So I throw that on the, uh, the old turntable there, and give that a whirl. And then we have the unit itself, and uh, it's actually heavy in a good way. Um, you know, sometimes, now this was not cheap. It's about $1,600. This is the 32 gigabyte version. I ordered it from Amazon. So there is the unit. Um, 
pretty simple USB-C port over here on this side. We've got, uh, it's got the, I think this is to start and stop your scan. It's a circle with a triangle on it, like a play button. And then right over here, we have the power button. We do have this large uh, display that flips up. So if you're scanning something, you know, trying to get underneath it, you can still see the display. Or if you wanted to, I guess, do kind of a selfie, selfie type scan. And then you do have a quarter inch 20 uh, jack on the bottom to put it on a tripod. So that is everything in this box. So I am really excited to get to play with this later today. We're gonna put this stuff back. Um, I have no idea. Maybe these are just the tracker pads, potentially. Um, Cause I think it mentioned or somewhere I've seen that there were like three large uh, pads. Oh, there we go. Revo Point Calibration Board Kit. So I think this is for scanning larger objects like vehicles. Uh, if you've seen their Kickstarter videos, they showed somebody scanning a helicopter. I don't think I'll be doing any of that. Throw that down there. Everything is really well packaged. That's, that's always nice uh, to see. So what we have in here, well, let's see. Oh, I think this is another like large, probably. It's basically, it's almost like a, well, I'm not sure. It's just a big black mat. It's like a trash bag kind of, but we'll, we'll delve into that at some point and figure that out. And then we have these uh, boards. Let me pull one out since this is an unboxing. Would be, I'd be remiss if I did not do so. So here we have these large boards. They're kind of a foam core board. So this, it actually says range two calibration board um, or Morocco farm mode calibration board designed to calibrate Morocco's farm mode cameras when calibrating. Please tile all four boards on the black sheet to avoid the interference. Okay, so this is a black sheet that you can uh, calibrate in farm mode for. And let's see, I'm looking around here to see. I thought I remembered there being something about these being magnetic, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll, uh, we'll cover that in the uh, full review. So there you have it. That is a quick and easy unboxing of the RevoPoint Morocco handheld 3D scanner. Thanks for stopping by. As always, if you enjoy what I'm doing on the channel, please take a little moment to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so that you know when I drop new content. I appreciate you spending time with me. We made it to 1,000 uh, subscribers. I'm finally able to earn just a tiny little bit of money, and I appreciate your support on the channel. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you next time.